And we're back live here. And I think I know who accepted the challenge. It's Daisy. It leads you on the following contest. It's a tornado tag team match. Good job for one fall. Making, introducing first. From, making her way to the ring from the Mushroom Kingdom, Princess Daisy. Well, ring announcer put it best from the Mushroom Kingdom. Princess Daisy, the girlfriend of Luigi, and there's no doubt about it, a TNW legend, no less. Yeah, no doubt about it. Luigi has got to be looking on back at home, seeing his beautiful girlfriend compete tonight. Where you know that her partner is Jill Valentine, already forming an alliance of sorts with one another. They've been on a losing streak, but can they win it all? And her partner from the Stars Team's base facility, Jill Valentine. Bringing out to put it best from the Stars Team's base facility, Jill Valentine is on her way to the ring for this opportunity. She does not want to slip away along with, with Princess Daisy. No doubt about it, the two best friends already enough as it is. Let not forget Capcom, also the creators of the Resident Evil games, have already been through so much with, with Nintendo over the years. Even one of the Mega Man, even the Mega Man games have been through a lot of resents over the years. No doubt about it, even made his way to PlayStation. You think? But no doubt about it, this is truly a dream team. Jill Valentine and Princess Daisy. And no doubt about it, this is going to be a big time opportunity for this team. But who are they taking on? it? Uh-oh. I know who that is. That's the newcomers. My goodness. Oh, what an entrance. And the team of Katie Carter and Katie Carter. Oh my. Fire and desire is what they call themselves. Katie Candace and Katie Carter, the two Katies no less. <laughs> and no pun intended, of course, folks. The ring announcer is a little hungry tonight because we have to apologize for the mix up because this edition of ACW Alliance Championship Wrestling is brought to you in part by. Water Street Pizzeria. If you're ever in Las Vegas, Nevada, or downtown Henderson, check out Water Street Pizzeria and try the gluten free pizza as Quilt cool 412 promises satisfaction guaranteed. And by Gordy Gameplay Reacts, Spider Man Reacts. For more great wrestling content, superhero content like Star Wars, Redeem of the Force, Chapter 5th, coming soon, and of course, GWE Wrestling, check out Gordy Gameplay Reacts, Spider Man Reacts. And by Charles Jones. For more great Sonic content, reaction content, check out Charles Jones. But how about it? Referee right there sees the count. Is that it? No. I was just trying to say the referee was there to see the cover by, by Princess Daisy. She thought she had it won there, but it looks like this Katie kicked out. No doubt about it. These two Katies are going to give it their all here tonight. And I gotta apologize for the mix-up once again here, folks. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a knockdown on Jill. And Daisy with a big boot. It's a Guri popping her in the jaw. And Princess Daisy and Jill Valentine dominating this fight like they know how. No doubt about it. Pop up punch and what a shot. Man, Princess Daisy and Jill Valentine are on a roll here. Yet though, folks, coming up next, our main event, the Triple Threat Tornado Tag Team Elimination Match, which will determine our next ACW Tag Team Champions. Yeah, because the winners of that match will get the night off. And yet though, folks, things have really intensified here on ACW, because we just got word Darby Allen arrived here in ACW after Andre Chase had his match, and Darby Allen looks right in the eyes of, Ar of Andre Chase. We have no idea what that was all about for the newcomer in the form of Darby Allen. Yeah, but that was not enough, though. After Quadra won her match, as she was about to celebrate with a dance party, it was until someone's music was playing and the three of them came down from the Raptors. It was totally spies. 
No doubt about it. Sam Clover and Alex officially sign over to ACW as well. And it looks like Alex is the one facing Quadra coming up this Sunday at Divide and Conquer. Yeah, no doubt about it. The newcomer to ACW, or should I say newcomers. And it looks like things have really intensified here in ACW for our new talents. Yeah, no doubt about it. And Daisy hammering away. And already these two are really dominating the fight on these young guns. Well, these four young guns are really going at it with one another. These four teams. These two teams going at it with one another to prove who the better team is tonight. And get a shot at Bianca Belair and, of course, Gwen coming up. And what a maneuver by Daisy. Cover. Referee sees the count. Is that it? No. What an amazing brain buster. And Jill Valentine in trouble. All you dang right, this is tag team wrestling. And Jill back to her feet. Got caught with a kick to the face. And it was a shot. And right now, super kick to the gut. And these two Katies are dominating the fight. Yeah. Well, Princess Daisy's not playing around here, it looks like. Yeah, nobody is. Because this will determine the number one contenders for the ACW Women's World Tag Team Championships against the new, found, the new champions, Bianca Belair, and of course, Gwen. And there's a tick down from Jill Valentine and a schoolboy super kick from Daisy. Yeah, well, Jill got confident in the ring, and she's the only one in there. You think? Princess Daisy dominating the fight, and Jill Valentine all alone in the ring. And, oh, not anymore. She's not. And Princess Daisy, and whoa, what a takedown. These two young guns, these, two, these, these four ladies here are dominating each other. Who wants to be the number one contender? Oh, we're going to find out all right. And what an electric chair. That was an electric chair counter from Princess Daisy, dominating the fight. And a forearm shot from Jill Ballantyne. And Jill launching her right in the, in the barricade. And these two Katies are in trouble. Yeah, no doubt about it. Fire and Desire getting dissected here. What's Princess Daisy thinking now? I don't know. And oh my god, what a back suplex. And whoa, what a combination from Daisy. The back suplex into a leg drop combination. And what a maneuver there from these two. Yeah, but these two are dominating these two young ladies here. Oh, Princess Daisy. Whoa, pulling off some more amazing combination maneuvers that we've never seen before here in ACW until tonight. How about it? They gotta conduct their business in the ring and they're fighting on the outside in a dangerous area to be at. And, oh. And what a shot from Daisy. I think Jill is trying to tell Daisy, no, no, let me take care of this. And Daisy just put her hands up just saying, okay, Jill, she's all yours. And now though, one of the tag team a fire and desire brought it back to the ring and it looks like Jill and Daisy are heading to the ring yeah but my god while Jill in the ring going after the young, one of the young ladies here a fire and desire already in trouble and Jill has this Katie in her sights while the other Katie on the outside fighting Daisy is in a bad spot oh my god a kick to the spine and she may have landed on the concrete. No doubt about it. Oh my God. Someone get those two back in the ring. Yeah, but Jill is in trouble. In a submission hold. And Daisy saving that one. And saving her partner and friend. No doubt about it. Both of them represent Nintendo in their own rights. And a Phoenix splash right off the second rope on Jill. Yeah, well, Princess Daisy may have the advantage here. Off the ropes. Whoa, what a neck breaker from Daisy. Daisy with the cover. And no. A near fall at two and a half. What a maneuver. Oh my God, what a move. 
I've never seen anything like that until tonight. Oh, Daisy looking for it. The Hangman's Face Buster. Maybe curtain call for these two Katie's cover. Two. And Princess Daisy and Jill Valentine are the number one contenders for this Sunday. What a win for this team. Here are your winners, Princess Daisy and Jill Valentine. Well, Daisy and Jill won that one. What an amazing matchup this was. And right now, though, folks, stick around. Up next, our main event tonight, the Triple Threat Tornado Tag Team ACW Tag Team Championship opportunity to determine our next tag team champions. King and Craig Mardock going up against Pretty Deadly and a mystery team coming to ACW. We have no idea who it is, but find out. Come to you live and next. We're back live here for our main event. And we know that King and Craig Mardock would love this opportunity of a lifetime and try to fulfill the honor of Chuck Norris and Daredevil after their amazing encounter they had after late last month. No doubt about it. And uh-oh. Here comes King. Ladies and the following contest is a triple threat tornado tag team elimination match. And it's for the ACW Tag Team Championships. Introducing the challengers from Mexico, weighing in at 271 pounds, King. Well, speaking of Mexico, late last Tuesday night on Tuesday Night War, Things really intensified for Voltaioi, and along with Team HWF, knowing Voltaioi leads Team TNW. We just found out that his team members are none other than Igor Cabane, Dante Coriu, and of course, Bell Dizora. No doubt about it. And of course, Team HWF was also revealed that team captains Rob Van Dam and Sabu came in from the fans, along with their team members, Cactus Jack and the Sandman. Uh, showing to be a war zone between Team TNW and HWF late last night in Mexico. And from the looks of it, that this war, this rivalry that has culminated between TNW and HWF over the years will end. Well, thank God our guys from ACW did not get involved in that rivalry. Because if we did, it would be an all-out right on our hands. We would, need, we would need a lot more security. You think? These fans here in Phoenix, Arizona, on the other hand, do love this hardcore action, and there's no doubt about it. This is one way to determine our next ACW Tag Team Champions. No doubt about it. Triple Threat Tornado Tag Team Elimination Rules. We keep going until one team is left standing. But however, if one man of that team is still standing in the ring, it's still the match still goes on, and we keep going until one man is left standing. More precisely, one team left standing and here comes Craig Mardock, and from Australia, weighing in at 399 pounds, Craig Mardock! Well, Craig Mardock! Already a vicious, tough son of a gun, 399 pounds. These guys are like two Goliaths that nobody wants to face. Yeah, you think? You would need a bulldozer to take these guys out. <laughs> Well, pun intended, of course, folks. <laughs> yeah, well, though, nevertheless, though, Craig Mardock, an amazing athlete, along with King in his own rights. And yet, though, folks, there is no doubt that things have already intensified here in ACW. As King is in the ring, along with Craig Mardock, the two best friends. They've been tag team champions before from another organization, but they would love more than anything than to win it all tonight. No doubt about it. And here comes Pretty Deadly. My goodness. Even their names. <laughs> At least it was easy to pronounce them the first time. Well, here they come. And at a combined weight, 357 pounds. About the Prince. And Benny Rosen. Pretty Deadly! Well, Prince and Rosen... Already, uh, yeah, like I said it right, Prince and Rosen, that's their last names. As Pretty Deadly, nevertheless, they've had so many opportunities at the tag titles, but lost. But they're praying and hoping that this could be the night that they become ACW Tag Team Champions. 
Yep, though, folks, we still don't know who the mystery team is because we're being told they're officially signed over to ACW. We have no idea who they are, but we're going to find out right here and right now on ACW Alliance Championship Wrestling. Yep, though, folks, we know that the winners of this match will get the night off from Divide and Conquer and watch the show from an actual VIP skybox. Yeah, this is one way to get at least win the opportunity of a lifetime and get a night off from Divide and Conquer. Yeah, no, no doubt about it, though, but King and Craig Marduk would love that more than anything. But pretty deadly. Uh, what we, I don't want to imagine what their skybox... Excuse me, folks. I think I may have had a sprite tonight. <laughs> Who can imagine what their skybox is going to be like? Just don't, don't even imagine that. My God. But yet, though, nevertheless, though, pretty deadly. An amazing tag team in their own rights. But, however... They were the former multiple-time NXT Tag Team Champions back in that organization's history. But, all right, who is it? Oh, what the? Ladies and gentlemen, no. the matter is highly. What you're about to witness is dignified, the formation executed by unprecedented precision. I know who that is. Gunther! What? I know who that is. That's Imperial. Imperial officially signed over to ACW. And there's Gunther, the leader of the team. My God. Imperium is officially a part of ACW. Well, ring announcer must have sat out for this one, wanting no part of Gunther. As Gunther, already a former, already a longest reigning intercontinental champion in history back in, in the WWE's history, back in that organization's history. Fulfilling the record as the longest reigning intercontinental champion in history. Looks like Imperium is officially signed over to ACW. Now, well, what a signing for ACW tonight by general manager Noah Anderson and the founder of ACW, Shadow Fiend, because from the looks of it, Imperium is officially here and ready to fight. Yeah, we already know that there's three members of Imperium, but there's no doubt about it, Gunther. Actually, Gunther is here for a fight for a reason, and he wants to be champion along with his tag partner. And one of the one of the members of Imperium, and there's no doubt about it. Yeah, this is going to be a war zone tonight. Three members of Imperium signed ACW right now. Here we go. Match underway. Yeah, well, King dominating the fight on one half members of Imperium going right to work on Gunther. On Gunther. Or Gunther. Uh, Gunther. Uh, how, however you want to call him, as Gunther getting dominated in the early goings at the hands of. Of King and Craig Mardock as Imperium looks to be in trouble. No doubt about it. Pretty deadly on the other hand, getting dissected as well. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, but you need a, like I said, you need a bulldozer to take these guys out. Luckily, there's no disqualifications, no count outs, and pinfalls and submissions count anywhere, we're being told that I was told earlier today. Yeah, no doubt about it. And yet there is yet there's no rope breaks in this match. We're going to make sure we have a winner tonight to ensure that we have ACW Tag Team Champions tonight and more likely new Tag Team Champions. Yeah, nevertheless, though, Chuck Norris and Daredevil already left ACW. Chuck Norris, a legend and an amazing athlete in his own right and one of the greatest martial artists extraordinaire of all time. Yeah, well, no doubt about it. Gunter took advantage of Craig Mardock's situation while one of the members of Pretty Deadly... Prince right now going out of one of members of Imperium and Gunter. Good thing the ring announcer took a break and didn't get a chance to announce these announce these guys. I know that about it. And there's an arm drag by King 
and pretty deadly, dominating the fight, and so is Craig Mardock. Yeah, one half members of Pretty Deadly was dominating the fight in the early goings, while Craig Marduk and King were the only ones decimating both teams. Yeah, no doubt about it. Imperium, in the meantime, may have their opportunity here. Gunter going at it with Prince, while Craig Marduk launching one half members of Pretty Deadly. Right where the concrete is, and he's going right after Craig Marduk, but Marduk going for a clothesline. He missed the contact, and they're fighting right where the concrete is. You know, our cameramen are trying to follow the action wherever the action is. And Gunter, and it, and, and is one of one of members of Imperium really dominating the fight. I'm sorry, folks. I forgot the guy's name, but I know he represents Imperium. But these guys are really decimating both one of members of Pretty Deadly and one of members of the most dominating best friend tag team of King and Craig Mardock. Yeah, well, Gunter... On the outside with 1F members. Looks to, looks like 1F members of Imperium is on the outside. Wait a minute. By the looks of it, yeah. 1F members of Imperium are on the outside and the other mem and Gunter is in the ring. Wait a minute, that's actually 1F members of Imperium in the ring and Gunter is the only one on the outside. Yeah. Going right at one half members are pretty deadly right now, going after them. And King got slammed into the corner like a rag doll. DDT on Gunter, and Gunter in trouble. Ripley there to make the count. Ripley came on the outside for a reason, but came too too late because Gunter kicked out. Steel steps right there and steel chair. Brought the play it looked like as our cameraman, like I said, folks, our cameraman trying to follow the action to ensure that we have winners tonight. How about it? And Gunter with a steel chair. Imperium. Imperium right now has the advantage here in the early goings, but then again, maybe not. And oh my god! Hurricanrana into a loop that's pressed by King, takes him down, and an Itsuguri, one of members of Imperium, dominating the fight, goes for a cover. Is that it for King? No, left shoulder up at two and a half. This man, what an amazing fight this is turning out to be here in ACW. We will have our tag team champions right here tonight, and there's no doubt about that, folks. We promise you, we're not going to go anywhere until we have our new ACW tag team champions. You know that about it. Gunter, in the meantime, though, trying to fight back here against two members are pretty deadly. Well, King took advantage of the situation. Just taking it straight. The Prince, and what a takedown by one of members of Imperium. Cover, is that it for Craig Bardock? No. And a big boot by Prince. That one's gotta be it. Cover, is that it? One, two, three. Gunter has been eliminated. Well, Gunter is out, and it looks like I gotta call this guy one up member of Imperium because we we still don't know. I still don't know this guy's name. But my apologies, folks. I'm just trying to call it as I see it. So that about it. Pretty deadly got the advantage right now over one up members of Imperium, while King and Craig Mardock are still together here in this fight. And now Craig Mardock with a chair. It's legal. No disqualifications. Yeah, well, one half members are pretty deadly going at it with, with the other member of Imperium. Gunther is eliminated, and Imperium, with an impactful debut, we've never seen them do anything like that until tonight. Yeah, well, there's a kick right to the head. Well, Prince is the only one in trouble. And a big boot went up that corner. That's what a maneuver there, and uh-oh. King, uh-oh. One half members of Imperium has got has got King where he wants him here. Well, Craig Bardock takes advantage of one half members of Pretty Deadly with a bench press, gorilla press, slam, and a sit up power bomb on Prince. Yeah, well, Prince now in trouble, and out King from behind with an arm drag with luchador like flavor. Cover is that it too? Chase Prince has been eliminated. 
Prince is eliminated. And it looks like Pretty Deadly and Imperium are all alone here. No doubt about it. While King and Craig Marduk have a 2 one advantage of both members of teams. Right now, though, uh, I forgot who this guy was already. <laughs> Charm right now, actually. And whoa, whoa, the reverse version of the bubble bomb into a submission hold. One of members of Imperium has got him in his sights. Well, what a submission hold and the sit out power bomb. Wait a minute. That was Craig Mardock's finishing maneuver. Stealing it right there. Referee counting from the outside. Is that it? No. And Craig Mardock realizing, no, you're not going to beat me with my own move. Referee counting. Is that it? Two. Three. Ben Constance has been eliminated. Well, Constance is out. Now I know who it is. Ben Constance. And, uh oh. Pretty deadly. Maybe going out for their last chance. Because Craig Bardock and King are the only team left standing, and they did it. We got new ACW Tag Team Champions. What a win! My God, what a win for the two best friends here in ACW as we got new Tag Team Champions. Here are your winners and new ACW Tag Team Champions, King and Craig Mardock. Well, Craig Mardock got the pin and they did it. The two best friends are walking out of the ACW arena as the new Tag Team Champions. Well, what a night it has been here in ACW. Alliance Championship Wrestling Live from Phoenix, Arizona. We want to thank you all so much for tuning in. I've been your commentator, MJ. We'll see you all this Sunday night for ACW. Divide and conquer. You don't want to miss out. Well, how about it? As Alex, representing Totally Spies, makes her in-ring debut along with Darby Allen. No doubt about it. That's going to be big this Sunday night. We'll see you all there. Good fight. Good night, and thanks for joining us on my Gawa tonight as we have new superstars and we have new ACW Tag Team Champions of Alliance Championship Wrestling.